And we are live. Hello, friends and enemies and those who have yet to decide. Welcome back to another live stream of Wildermyth. I'm really excited for this game. I don't quite know if I can do it justice right now because I've only slept like four hours last night because of stomach issues and stuff. But we'll see if it's any fun. Uh... <laughs> the double you kind of looks like a butt. <laughs> Maybe it's even more fun because I'm really sleep deprived. But uh, let's go and continue the um, continue the story of uh, Pixel, my stone faced now stone faced waifu, and uh, the 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 flame minnows the the. Uh, band of uh, woman-loving woman uh, adventuresses on their journey to probably defeat the tentacle god. I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen. Let's go. Okay, yeah. Chapter 1. So last time, uh, Waifu got... Uh, some gorgon egg implanted in her head, and now the chapter one is done. So let's see what happens. I still have no idea how this game works. Is the raccoon gonna get extra strong or what? Oh, now we happens. Uh, now now we will be told what happens. The, during the years of peace. The Gorgon's mark grew and crossed it over to cover one side of Pixel's face. It would be a grim reminder of the encounter that day in Frostford Forge Barn. Oh, you're still beautiful, though. I still love you. Renthai and Oksha were stopped by a traveling man, a resident of that small village in Red Pine Forest where the Great One once feasted. He thanked them again for slaying the monster and ending the darkest days of his life. Renthai deflected the man's praise, but glowed inside. If you glow inside, you should drink less uranium. It helps. Pixel and Orkshire are kept of a schedule of sparring afternoons. Pixel punctuated almost every swing with a clever observation. You never treated the Gorgons to this banter. Why waste your breath on an audience that won't appreciate it? You're saying I do? Pixel went back to Echo Grave Weaver Works to apprentice for a year. The sharp patterns she wore were at once beautiful and frightening. Oh, she can weave now. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I can upgrade gears now. Oh, they all got different names. Witch Sever, Fire Whale, Grey Song of Lithwar. I kind of like that, but it's also really over the top. But what's Lithwar? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. I want to craft that. Let's go. And now I can't craft anything for anyone else. <laughs> Except the wind fletch of Olentok. And I can get I can get Renthia black arc or something a well-made bow well that's a fitting description Okay, I can't really upgrade anything much anymore.
That's all right. Let's keep going. Jean may have volunteered her free days to deciphering the Epichrist. If this is true... It hasn't always gone smoothly and progress has mostly dripped along. The meanings of the weird stone have remained inscrutable for years. But today, something in her research slides into place. Bagonk. Legend begets legend. And she can now guess where their enemies might be. Oh, there's a viewer on Twitch. Hi, viewer on Twitch. Thanks for showing up. To me playing Wildermyth again. And for joining the adventures of the flame fishies. It explains why we've had a few years of relative peace. Do you see what I mean here? Imagine you're trying to raise an army. What's the first thing you do? Raise an army? Uh, yeah, duh, it sounds like it. Right, an army out of just normal folks. Oh, maybe that's sarcastic. Right, an army out of just normal folks. I suppose I'd do what other leaders in history have done, which is I'd have to study that? A symbol? You'd want a symbol to rally support, wouldn't you? Especially if your people are ancients and set in their ways. Mm. So you're saying our Ulstrix, our master of Gorgons, needs this thing? What is it, some kind of divine spear? As a symbol to help convince the other Gorgons to follow it? Yes, that's what I believe. And why does it need to do that? Why does it need the spear, or why does it need the support of others like it? What is Ulstrix? Ulstrix is tentacle hentai god, apparently. I know, it's like spotting the ocean from a mountaintop, and all the land between is mist. We'll never get as we go. I was able to find other records of epichrists. Rubbings. <laughs> that was my first clue. An epichrist is like an ancient storytelling device. A way for telling a time-honored myth but maybe in a different order or fashion. That's what I think. And, but... Anyway, sorry, I'm getting swept up. I checked the story elements here against some of our older legends. You know that tall tale? Kind of a poem or a song in some places? Queen of the Sea? Uh, no, but get to the... Get to the fucking point. Our stone tells almost the same story. Almost. And according to our version, the spear was laid to rest in a named cavern. It's on one of our maps. So that gives us an, uh, an advantage, right? We know where it is. But they've got a pretty big head start, so... I don't know if it has anything to do with this, but Gorgon sightings are picking up again. Now seems like a good time for us to get started. We've all changed, remember? All the havoc those things caused and we couldn't stop them. I did stop them. The only one who changed is you because you got fucking tentacle monster put a seed in your ear. But we're ready this time, aren't we? Knowledge is a knife to cut through destiny's net. We go well armed. Yas, girls, let's go. The shadows deepen. All monster groups will draw an extra monster card in every battle. Oh, crap. fortifications so I need to check out Magnic Altar wherever that is mm, let's go recruit a person now you all go together Griffler, the poetical leader. Yeah, let's recruit Griffler. The minnows of this flame has leached Longgrave. I've been waiting my whole life for this opportunity. Ha! Oh god, she's she's a little fangirl. Okay, she can join us. Well, we haven't been around that long, but if you want, I could sign your... Uh... Huh? Listen, what if I told you that my mother was a renowned... Coward? No, coward. Not because she was any good with cattle, but because she beat a bull god in combat and won her good fortune. And then grandma. 
Legend is she threatened the flood so severely that it turned on its tail before it reached Longgrave. Which is why the town continues to be known for its unmatched magical artifact museum. I think I've heard of that story. The point is my blood is to the is the blood of exceptional people. It beats behind my eyes such that I can barely sleep these days. Oh that's why you're so weird, alright. And so I've been searching for a chance, any chance to prove I belong to this lineage. 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 English is hard, bruh. Let me join you. Right, lucky for you, you'll get quite a few chances. We already have two warriors. Ah, let's get another hunter. Let's go. Riffler Ocean is now a Greenhorn Hunter. Okay. She can blind enemies. She can burn enemies. And she can shoot through enemies. Nah, she can burn. Okay, let's scout the Maiden Plains. You all scout together because it'll be faster. The Offering. And then it was simply there, striding beside them. Oh, uh, okay. That just happened. Big ass golem. Jame, are you gonna say something to it? Or... Uh... Fellow wanderer, what caused the very stones to cross this valley? Someone has visited my shrine. It has been a long time. I have slept. I go to it now. It is close. I feel the offering. But something is not right. Who desecrates my shrine with thievery? Um, excuse me, your shrine? Oh boy, here we go. If you ask the minnows of the flame why they always seem to draw the land's troubles to them, they may disagree over the answer. Perhaps there are so many troubles that the odds of encountering anyone are actually quite high. Or maybe we just have that kind of dumping ground aura. This shrine was built by the hill folk in the days of stone, before any of you upstart zeppelins scattered here. Uh, do we have a race war between plant gods and rock gods? Oh, no. And is that how long it's been since you visited it? Who tended its moss and shielded it from storms in the meantime? Not you old scoff, that's for sure. This offering was intended for the hills. You abandoned the shrine for ages, you forfeit any offering. It is rightfully the forests now. Can you guys just chill? What say the soft ones? Oh yeah, let's go get a closer look at that offering. I hope I'm not gonna steal it. I don't wanna steal it, but let's get a closer look. Oh, we have another viewer on YouTube. Hi, viewer on YouTube. Thanks for watching me play Wildermyth. Okay, let, let me get... This is a 56% per, uh, percent chance for whatever. I don't wanna steal it. Let's look at it. Okay, I'm looking at the offering. Whoa! The bad juju coming off this thing is really strong. You aren't feeling that? Ah. Ah, hi, Noir Chartreux. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Someone clearly wanted to curse one of you by leaving this gift here. Ksha, probably one of those tatter robes from the swamp. 
Moro Gorgon seems like their style. Please let us dispose of this abomination for you. Indeed, it is not worth the risk. Take it far from here. Fortunate that the flesh folk were with you. So, what, we got a cursed offering now? <laughs> no, there's no curse. Oh, you, you motherfucker, you just stole from the gods. Like, I did not want to steal it. I actually just wanted to look at the offering. God damn it. Motherfucker, Renthai, why would you do that? It's not nice. Like, that's gonna have repercussions down the line for sure. God damn it. Oh, Renthai. I have to admit it, I'm impressed. Well. I got a nice spear. Let's replace the stupid pitchfork with wind beam. Yeah, I know, right? It's, it's really rude to steal stuff from the gods. Let's build an outpost. Hides, fabrics, whatever. More fabrics, let's go. But apparently there is no Gorgon outpost here. Ah, Gorgons are infesting this tile, let's go. Not currently reachable? Ah, I need to build a bridge, okay. Yeah, we're building a bridge. We're all working together, let's go. Yeah, I need to kill some Gorgons because I only have like 230 days left. Um, my group is actually not just a bunch of murder hobos, but apparently Renthai is just a freaking rogue uh, who just stole from some ancient gods. Why would you think my group is a bunch of murder hobos? They did not murder hobo anything yet. They, they just hoboed something. Smiling Woods has been revealed. Or because I said that I gotta kill Gorgons. Uh, yeah, Gorgons are planning an invasion and I need to get rid of Gorgon outposts so I have more time before the actual invasion hits. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that's the point. So let's assort North Plum Stell. Yeah, you're all going in there. God, Jomé is still level one. God damn it, we already. What would you do, Pixel, if you found your heart racing at the thought of another, someone you stood beside through danger, and then? Oh my God, are we gonna get some more romance? Ah, yeah, cute. Ah. Uh, um, I well, uh, each person's different. I'd try to learn what they like, what their feelings are, and I'd form a plan of some sort. Shh, stop mumbling for a second, you hear that? Hushed voices and careful footfalls approach down the overgrown path. To Renthai's ears, even these muffled noises are pretty loud. Come forward, strangers. If you're friendly, come forward slowly. Silence, perhaps a minute of it, is all the answer that emerges from a thick wall of brush. Then... Elfin, you dolt! They're not fooled by this, and I'm standing in ants! Yes, mistress, uh, should I offer myself? Introduce us! We, we, we can hear your... Ho? Ho? Ho there! You look like experienced, whatever you are, bandits, rogues, not hunting for captives, I hope. Us? You think we're ruffians? Uh, well, uh... Oh, move it, you fool. Anything's better than ants up my dress. Sorry, mistress, here, take my arm. A 
pair of travelers clambers, 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 whatever the hell that word is pronounced, free of the bracken, their clothing fine but a tad filthy. Uh, hello, strangers. I'm Orphan, servant and apprentice to this prestigious and lovely woman who... Well, perhaps we shouldn't use your real name. That's Vase Trekbrun! Huh? Oops, she knows your name. And why wouldn't she? They, the dream chanter, poet and peerless singer, impossible to turn away an ear when she's plucking strings, spinning arms, deploying her famous vowels. Oh, you don't seem like a threat. Come sit by the fire. We're not in any kind of bad business. By the fire sounds grand, mistress. Think so. The small camp settles a little awkwardly. Introductions go round. Shortly thereafter... Oksha can't help herself. She bends Vay's ear. Personally, I can find merit in most stories or songs, but the great performances are truly something special. Uh, by the way, I'm not really doing character voices because I, I can't for the hell of me remember them. I was there when you sang Star Sailors in Longrave. Flawless. Rumor was you intoned all of the old Wayne saga in a day and a night, and no one dared to a morsel. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember those days. I try not to miss them. Oh, mistress, you don't need to say it. I do, though. Just that nothing lasts forever. Bad fever took my lofty registers from me. My volume. Performance is such a physical thing. Most forget that. I'm weak nowadays. I lean on him. My student. Off in there. <laughs> mistress. I would love to show that gift to you again. But it's gone now. Only the memory remains. Why not try a small song? Even if it's quiet, even if it's just a shadow of you, we'd like it. I want her to sing. 72% chance, let's roll the frickin' dice. Vastrek Brun, the dream chanter, pulls her instrument from its case. A hum collects in her throat, then ebbs. Then rises again, spilling between pitches, and stops. She softly coughs. Don't strain yourself, mistress. I, I don't think I can manage it. It's all right. We've got some beer, some bread and soup. Oh God, she's sad now. I'm sorry, mistress. The night before the fight at North Plumstel passes quietly. Oh, she didn't sing. So sad. Anyway, we have to fight a rager, two raccoons, and two roses. Let's go. So, Renthe. Open door. Uh, lots of fuckers. So, Griffla, you're the new hunter. You go do some work. Yeah, let's get rid of the row. Let's check Waifu's new X, but move to Guardian, because... Need to protect Renthai. Double protect Renthai. And... Can I interfuse with something in there? No, not really. She's just gonna wait. Whatever alarm does. Okay, gotta get rid of the rager because it leaves behind corrupted ground and it's gonna hurt. My poor, poor party. Yeah, there we go. Let's step it dead. Griffler, you might wanna... Shoot the fucker. There we go. You 
beautiful, beautiful maid, you're still level one. So let's shackle that thing. Didn't even get damaged in the slightest yet. I'm gonna silk step. Yowch, that was my armor. Shoot the dumb thing. Hit the dumb thing. Shoot the other dumb thing. And stab the dumb thing. Let's go. And that should be it. Uh, interfuse. Um, the interfusion skill means I can sort of uh, get control of... Uh, objects and use them to my advantage like I can blow stuff up I can blow up wooden stuff and shoot enemies with splinters if I fuse with some rocky thing I can throw rock at it if I fuse with a flame I can throw fire at it but only in a range around the object so that's a real interesting kind of magic also her wand is a spoon so let's see spirit blade mm-hmm <laughs> I'll upgrade compulsion even though I've never used it yet. Ooh, antler bow. Let's go. Oh, plus one damage to gorgons. That's cool. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Griffler because uh, she can use it. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty cool. And what's also pretty cool is after every battle, the enemies get stronger. So, right here, uh, a new card is added to the Gorgon deck. A new enemy that I've never fought before. Oh, crap. And during the campaign, the enemies are just gonna get stronger. Ah, I just got 50 days. Let's secure this thing. Let's investigate thoroughly and find an item. And you all work together, so it's gonna be faster, I hope. Oh no. Ah, I do want... No, I'm gonna keep my legacy point. Yeah, in the name of the spoon, I'll punish you. I'll knock out your teeth so you'll be eating soup for the rest of your life. I want the fights to get harder, so I'm not gonna cancel any of the enemy upgrades right now. And I don't know what legacy points do yet, but... I can probably do something with them, so they're a resource apparently. So yeah, I am researching the site. So yeah, they just... I'm not reading this out because it's always the same. Um, this thing will produce something at the end of the chapter. And I got a crow feather ring. No one has a ring yet. Zome already has pretty high warding. I'm just gonna give it to Griffler because she has basically nothing. Okay, I could move to... Uh, that altar, uh, that altar where the quest is trying to lead me, but I'd rather go around. <laughs> well, I did put a ring on it. Oh, just 200 days remaining. Gary Tinkerings. Let's assault that thing and get a cute story before. 
The doom days are like indecisive adulterers. They let no one sleep. <laughs> I like that sentence. They stand in the portal and a hot wind pours inside. They slam the door as they go and it shivers on its hinges. I have seen the end. Watched it come and watched it pass. Many times. I know something of what lies ahead. John May and Renthai wait for the others to come up the road. Taking shelter in an abandoned place, they've chanced on another traveler. I imagine the end, sometimes. Then you are already weird next to those you deem friends. What the fuck kind of goth lady is that? He does a word only cowards revi uh, revile. I've said so before. But cowards swing swords that cut. Deep as hero blades they sink. Rain chatters on the hatch. I should give her a different voice. I see things written in the turning of storms. In silver wet letters. In shaking pages of rain. I read of dreams left behind by this yondering... I read of dooms the years intend. I read until my eyes shine and my stomach roars. Oh, your eyes are shining already. I have read of you. I know what you are meant to be. Mm. I find the ropes of fate are not tied so tightly for those who test them. No one demands you believe. You only must endure what happens. The old storage building smells like ancient hay, moist rock, and the burning pine pitch of their torch. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Rustle, rustle. The woman's robe moves like it's a part of her. She shrugs. Fortunes were given to crows to tell, and crows were kind enough to share their gift with witches. A witch, well paid, shares fortunes with the way blind. Rumble. Okay, I can get Jane May takes one damage, or I can get black wings like in my dream, or we're not mushrooms. Oh, I think black wings sound cool. Then you already glimpsed the form your roving spirit must take. You have seen it in your sleep and it will not shatter you. I dream it, I don't see it. I sort of insist on that difference. You go winged but never flying, fast but rarely fleeing. Your wonder leads you to things you never thought you'd chase. Y y yeah? John, man, I thought we agreed I would be the one you confided in. Oh, girlfriend's jealous. Uh, by the way, those two are in a relationship. The rain will pause in the morning. Do not worry much, for you will love yourself. Lonelier though it may make you. There was a queen too in my dream. She halts momentarily, the stillness of a startled bird. Some dreams are only flights of fancy. <laughs> Thanks for shipping it. The night elapses. The rain sounds like a river of dragonflies flowing by. Snoring thunder is occasional and soft, growing ever more distant. jean Mer and Renthai sleep at some point, taking turns. The woman walks out into the pale pre-dawn. Uh, pre Without a sound or a pain or any observed moment of metamorphosis, jean Mer wakes up be winged. They'll continue on to Dwigari tinkerings. Hey, Renthai, there you are. Shome with you? Couldn't find you in the rain. Had to camp. And now, uh, my mystic has wings. Oh god, a Borgmore and a Geist. I've never fought those before. Ooh. Yeah, let's murder Hobo or ass through this place. Whatever that is, I kind of want to kill it first. But also, Renthai can almost kill this raccoon in one shot. So, let, let's just go. And 
and I'm going to interfuse with a rock. Because it has a discus, and then I can throw a discus at this thing. Ah, you do You fucker, you just dodged it. Okay, Griffler, who kinda sounds like a brand of cigarette rolling paper. Can't just kill the thing. And then we have my... Two very beautiful... Fighters left. Ah, you just spit po Oh, oh, you can grab enemies or my folk too. Whoa. Okay, that hurt. Okay, jean -Mai, can you leave? There we go. What? Let me stab it. But now it's flanked, so I can hit it 100%. The fights were a lot harder in during the last uh, during the last matches. I'm going to silk step. Who still can do something? Jean Mac can do something. So I'm gonna interfuse with nothing. I'm just gonna wait. Uh, yeah. Maybe that uh, they're gonna talk about it at some point, but... I don't know. Oh, I'm standing in corrupted land. Should probably not stand there. Oh. Uh, well, that thing is a problem. Ah, if I shoot you from the Shadow Realm, I can ignore your armor, apparently. So, interfuse with these candles. And throw some magical fire at the fucker. There we go. Oh, and it's dead. I had expected the battles to be harder. Wait, there's still enemies now? Okay, gotta move Oksha away from this, because it would be really, really stupid if she died from just standing on shit land. Where's the last enemy? There's gotta be someone. Let's interfuse with this rock, so I can see more stuff. Nah, pretty useless. Who can still move? Renthai can still move. Ah, oh, there's the last rager. There we go. What? How can... I thought I was in... Magical place. Sort of does look cute, but... Also... Kind of disgusting and dangerous and pukey. Let's get off the Gorgon Corrupted Land and shoot the Rager in the back. Ah, come on. Come on now. Can I hit you with Discus? Nope. But I can go Compulsion. And move the enemy over here. And now I can hit it. Ah, that's what Compulsion is good for. There we go. And now Stoneface Waifu can just hit the hit the fucker and kill it dead. There we go. Dead Ripperoni. Why do some characters not have last names? Bear Strength Cloak. Bonus damage? Yeah, give it to the Waifu. There we go. 
Someday people will move back to Duigari tinkerings. The Gorgon slime will run off into the rivers and back to the sea. Children will find homes for spirits here. Young women will build barns alongside their sweethearts. Old women will trade in iron and salt. Sounds like Bismarck for some reason, but that was blood and iron. At the end, the oldest will die peacefully in their beds the way it should be. You seem quite keen on it all, thinking of staying. It's too late for me. Adventure's been stirred into my blood. Also, you got fucking wings from a witch. Yeah, and you're, you're right, Noir Charles. Uh, why, why the fuck is no one talking about it? She just got wings. Is that just normal? The best we can do is keep moving and hope to leave peace in our wake. Oh god, all the rows are doubled. Okay, yeah. It's maybe gonna get harder now. Okay, I got 50 days left, so... Let's, let's secure this site. Let's go. <gasps> Gorgons in great number move to attack your lands. Okay, gotta stop the incursion, but the incursion is coming right my way, so, uh... That's cool, because I can just stop it. Get some items and a Wolfheart bracelet, which adds health. Where's the lowest health? Uh, yeah, Griffler, but Griffler's a noob. Let's give it to Griffler. Let's go. And let's scout this incursion. Ooh. There's the quest. Things in Clover Pass are drunk or sleeping, or both. The last greasy lights wobble in quiet windows, at least, mostly quiet. Ah! Ah! That man's a mess. The merry stumbler scrapes along the back alley, fragments of foamy song following after, fading into the early dew. The night doesn't slosh so easily in every belly. What's wrong, love? You look like you're about to go belly up in the whiskey pond. Not tonight, Renthai, sorry. Ah, come on, I know what it is. I know what you're going to say, I don't need to get out and exercise. You haven't been getting out and exercising, you have to get your blood going, your lungs pumping, it really does your body and mind some good, it helps you refocus on your goals. Love, I know it works for you, but what, what, what's that face for? You have wings. Because I just had the perfect idea! There's this mystical order. They live out in seclusion. They're all about training the body to unshackle the mind. I'm sure they teach us one or two tricks. Or at least give us a quiet meal. Mm. Should we do this quest or... Get out? Our problem is there's a fucking incursion. And they're coming right at us, so... Don't really want to waste time to move in a fucking mystical order. Nah, get out. Oh, so just nothing happens. Okay, so I'm moving back here. Yeah, the Gorgons have arrived. Oh, come on, I want to... Huh? Huh? 
What did I do wrong? Can I... Yeah, let's go. Come on, my, my heroes just stopped. They just stopped. Um, Gorgons are attacking me. And all my settlements. And I'm trying to stop them, but I accidentally misclicked and let him do that thing because I'm a dum dum. And I only have 76 days left to defeat that thing. The Gorgons have come. Bleak bellows rise from all around of beasts full of bloodlusted indigo bile. How should the defenders respond? Numbers are deceiving. There's no measuring our desire to live. Okay, that dude is kind of flame faced. Charge into battle, take the fight to them. Stay hidden until the last moment, fight with cunning makes sense, but I'm more like charge. As the opposing numbers become obvious, their cry for courage dies in their throats. This could be, could be the last battle they fight. The little militia quavers around them. Oh, fuck. So I have no support? Oh god, all foes get plus one temporary hit point, and yeah, now I'm in trouble. But I do have some townsfolk to help me. Okay, uh, useless townsfolk, can you go open the door? There we go. Uh, yeah, and now you move back inside because you're probably not gonna be very helpful. Okay, let's. Griffler shoot the thing and it dodged. Oh god, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Maybe let's sacrifice the useless townsfolk and I misclicked and wasted a movement point. Ah, uh, that's awful. Can I shoot the fucker from here? I can shoot the fucker from here. Let's go. At least I did some damage. Ah, oh, he's hobbled, so that means he can't... He can't move too well. Okay. Let's at least get one of the fuckers dead. Strike it down. There we go. Whew! Okay, uh, useless townsfolk I don't give a shit about. Can they maybe also help? Oh, and there's a Gorgon. Oh, crap. So, uh, useless townsfolk, uh, come with me, please. Maybe be some cannon fodder, I don't know. Uh, I misclicked it. Why do I always misclick with Jean Mer? God dang it, I could have killed this thing. Oh, and there's a row. Oh, uh oh, oh no, oh, oh god. Oh crap. Shit. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh god, oh no. Oh, oh crap. I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. Okay, Griffla, kill this. Th I can't kill this thing first. Okay, so shoot this thing. Oh god, there's more coming from that side. Okay, no, no, I gotta... Pixel? Get rid of the Rager for me, will ya? Yeah, there we go. That's one fucker gone.
Jean Mac can probably interfuse with uh, this pile of wood. Yeah, yeah. Now the fights are harder, and I appreciate it. And I interfuse with the wrong thing, and that's really useless right now. Uh, crap. Okay, I can do compulsion on this row to just move it away for a bit. There we go. So this thing is gonna take a bit longer to reach me. Which might be just the time I need to get rid of some other fuck. Oh, you took cover, are you serious? No, oh god, no. God, no. And Oksha can't fucking reach the row, so... Is she gonna sentinel? And you? Ah, I misclicked. Shoot the thing. There we go. <sighs> At least I took cover too. And the row tries to attack me and it died it. There we go. Okay, now I can splinter blast, yeah, but I'm gonna hit my own. Okay, okay, if I move Renthai out of range of this thing, I can shoot this thing. Then I can have jean -Mais splinter blast this corner to shred the armor of the Gorgon. Pixel, I think you can deal with this thing by yourself. Let's go. You're the magical special wife. Yeah, one shot the fucker. There we go. It, it just looks big. It's not that dangerous. So who can still do some stuff? Griffla can shoot this fucker. There we go. Aksha, can you kill that? Uh, no, not one hit. You, mister, I am hurt. Oh, come on. Useless townspeople, goddammit. At least two more things are gone. Oh god, no, Griffla, no, 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 no. Ooh, Griffla bellows in agony. Okay, I can let her die to deal 10 damage, or I can let her... No, she's got... She's getting maimed. Ooh, the pain hardens, but the force of Griffla's will keeps it confined to one limb as she retreats. At least she survived, but... Yeah. Okay. Where's Renthai? There is Renthai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely Gorgon. I hope. So, Waifu, move out of there. Thank you. Uh, useless townsfolk. Shoot the thing. Is it, is it, you're, re you're really useless. You can't even shoot a fucking raccoon. Oh, that's Jean Mai. That's why she can't shoot shit. She can only interfuse. Yeah, let's kill this. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, Griffla can't fight anymore right now. So yeah, let's... Uh, I don't have time to repair this. I need to get rid of the Lone Spring Ottery first.
Ah, Griffla has returned to action, so Griffla can go and repair this site. Birds! Birdy birds! Doing birdy things! This pine wood dwells atop a secret mountain, wreathed in burning bottoms, perpetual fog. Yeah, burning bottom really sounds like someone is arsch verletzt, <laughs> but hurt. Great sequoias shoulder up to towering redwoods. Thick grown cedars mob their knees. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Have to keep our pursuit pretty quiet. Tracking it blindly, I think it'll lead us to the Godlands. They spotted it that morning. The apparition is familiar to them only as a distant myth. Nearness now makes them believers. I think we can assume a kind of hierarchy here. Among the plants, beasts, even the locusts call him Lord Evergreen. Forward quietly, you two. They move into the flowing fog. The earth holds its breath. Dampness heavies their eyelids, darkens their hair. Smears of silver shine on trunks, roots and stones. They stumble and feel a path over rocks and wrecks, chasing the giant through its noise barren world. This'll be a completely opaque in a second. Oh, I think it stopped. It has stopped. Think he's aware of us? Now it turns about, somehow finding space. High and mostly hidden in haze, its face must hang above them. <laughs> I remember that. I've been high and mostly hidden in haze for uh, quite some time in my life. But now I'm clean. With bending bark sounds, creepy, creepy hicks, creaky hips, folding legs. It gently lowers itself, fitting its bulk to a tract of treeless ground. Be ready to scramble. They're caught in its eyeless gaze, and a silence that grows and twists, grotesquely long. It could crush them. That fact is certain as the soil. Stomachs harden. Innards clench, muscles coil. Rentha gives away her heart? No, 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 we're gonna attempt to communicate. Rentha seeks a few heart winning words. We're wanderers at times, fighters, usually on behalf of our own. Are these trees your charges? If there's burdens you carry, maybe we can take some of them on ourselves. Work together. It very slightly tilts its massive head. Then an image flashes into their minds. Lads of long ago, the air is swarm with smoke and cinders. Silence. As the trees die, quake deep silence cracked with bark splits and sap spits and fire. Only one young sequoia outlasts the inferno. There's a spirit glowy thing. Crack Crack. Oh, it plants the trees. I'm clicking too fast, maybe, for people to watch it. The giant stands once more. It goes. We're all wardens, gardeners, wishes for a better world. The Earth's not fragile, but there's always a new threat, hmm? Something else we're protecting, hmm? I just got a legacy point for some reason. Okay. Oh yeah, all my heroes got one temporary hit point. I can use that because... Uh... Oh! 
there's a leaf spirit. I'm gonna get that leaf spirit because, uh... Let me enchant that bow. Wait. It's... Yeah, I think so too. I already caught a fire spirit. But it's... The bow is crap. It's worse than my current bow. So I'm gonna salvage it for one hardwood. And now I gotta shoot a thing. Let's kill the raccoon first because it's right in the middle of our hitters. Let's interfuse with this lamp. Oh yeah, let's blind... Let's blind those fuckers. That that might be helpful. There we go. Uh, Auksha, you're gonna stab the raccoon dead. And Vaifu, hit the geist or hit the gorgon? Hit the geist. Let's go. They're all coming. Ha! Oh, there's another one. Oh, crap. Why do they all attack twice? That that was not in the job description. Okay, jean May, can you interfuse with this thing? What does it do? It throws a disc, because that's exactly what I need right now. Let's go. Boink. Boink. One thing is dead. Okay, Renthai, kill the big thing. Get rid of it. Yeah, there we go. Vaifu can shred armor, which is really useful. And you can just strike it down. Uh, Vaifu, I'm gonna move you off the corrupted land. I'm in trouble, and you're dragging Ram Renthai over to you. Oh, sad. Oh, crap. Oh, god. Okay, Jean may interfuse with the rocks. Because that means you can throw throne, throne, stone discus and damage those fuckers. Let's, let's really hurt this thing. Let's shoot this thing dead. And let's make sure this thing dies. The big thing needs to go first. Yeah, let's kill a thing. There we go. That was manageable, no one died. Oh, and Oksha leveled up. Oh, and Waifu leveled up too, let's go. Yeah, let's give her one more melee attack. Buff up her armor. Now nah, I'm gonna upgrade her battle dance. And stuff that gives health. Who has low health? Griffla and Jean may have low health. Mm -hmm. Jean may is important. Let's give her the health. And all the Gorgons are now stronger. I got 50 I got plus 50 days now that's good so let's secure this thing and secure it fast because uh, I don't have time ah oh, there's another opportunity god damn it 
I'm gonna dismiss it because I don't have the time. There we go, the site has been secured and I get stuff. And let's go to Tender Court Plains and scout it out. Because I only have 50 days left. I wasn't imagining or even hoping for a place like this. A wild chapel. Our steps here are a desecration. Easy to be lulled by green and water, sharp eyes stay alive. The cavern of the sea spear. Alright, we're trying to get the sea spear. Lies at the heart of a magnificent canyon. Sides of the canyon are smooth and sheer, marbled blue and pink, molded and mushed by the hands of titans when the world was clay. Now the stone is hard and sharp and glows. But the canyon's deep places are strong with fragrant clear waterfalls and ruffled greenery. The mouth of the cave is hidden in damp shadow and fern-feathered shade. But Pixel spots it. With her one eye that's not covered by stone. And leads the way inside. <laughs> Smell that. Doesn't it remind you of somewhere? Smells like the ocean. Probably someone just farted in there, but okay. Careful. There's holes. Don't know how deep they go. There's a sex joke somewhere in there. Pixel follows her own echoes into the dripping depths. 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 Don't know how to say that. No eye has scraped these walls in centuries. Why would you scrape walls with an eye? That's gonna hurt. The air is pickled and still. Why would you pickle air? It's smoother down here, but look at the ceiling. It seems to go up and up and up. Like my dick. There's distant glimmers, almost like high windows. Glass, maybe? Quartz? It's cold. Sinking to your bones, kind of cold. Can't wait to get out of here and jump in a hot bath. jean -Mais. Hmm? This looks like the end of the tunnel. Carved and firm and ancient. Oh god, okay, there's a door. Uh, so, rent the... Open door? <gasps> the hell is that thing? I, I don't know what that thing is, but I'm going to shoot it. And it blocks... Oh, cr oh god, oh no. Okay, Jaume. I need to move here. To interfuse with... This thing. And throw some magical fire at this fucker. Yeah, that's good. And Pixel, you're gonna move here, and Guardian, and Oksha, you're gonna move here, and Sentinel. Because this thing is gonna come close to us and get... Okay. Okay, Renthai, Renthai, you, you go here and uh, shoot the fucker. Yeah, shred some armor, girl. There we go, there we go, okay. Jean May, you go over here and add in some more magical fire and hurt that thing again. There we go. Aksha, stab it. Pixel. Oh, Aksha, she has a spear, so she can. She doesn't need to stand directly to an enemy. What's cute? You think that thing is cute? Okay. You have an interesting way of defining cute. But 
Actually, it kind of is cute. The, the whole art style is cute. Oh, I, I can zoom. I didn't know. Well, hit it. The boss didn't do anything. Well, I guess I'm good. All right, let's get what we came for. It's here, the spear. The other, the other, the Sprich, Freund, und tit ein. That was a mistypo. Yeah. The air in the chamber is clear. Oh, thank you. That means I'm younger. Yeah. The air in the chamber is clear and almost sweet. The corpse of the great guardian shrivels inside its carapace. Pixel approaches the edifice. The spear is, spear is glass like. Grand, it radiates legacy and power. Hmm. It's grand and radiates legacy and power. Yeah, that's. Another dick joke here. It's just strange. What can this thing really mean to them? I have ideas. For instance, this hero queen who saved worlds with an ocean born lance. Maybe she was a Gorgon, and our stories only cast her human. So it's a kind of emblem to them, maybe, of a past hero. As Pixel grips the spear, a noise begins to grow in the outer tunnels. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, come on, come on. Give me a real fight, because that boss was kind of boring. It's the noise of feet and hooves of tortured lungs shoveling air and the slickering squelch of creeping things. By the sound of it, a horde of Gorgon beasts is pouring toward the chamber. We need to hope they don't cut off our escape. Even I don't believe we'll survive if we stay here. Okay, I got the Petroglass Sea Spear. Well, uh... Oxia is using spears. So, uh, we'll give it to Oxia. She's a spear warrior. Petroglass Sea Spear. The spear of an ancient hero queen. Made of an unbreakable glass that swirls with deep sea hues. When swung, it seems to whisper, to whisper and lowly roar like a distant ocean or a crowd of frozen souls. Okay. Escape. Gorgons will keep coming. Ah, so we gotta leave. Okay, so that's good. That's an actual fight now. So, Renthai, move. Open door. Awful noises and rank smells rush out of the dark. This is a doom fight if we try to hold our ground suggestions. Uh, we're not trapped, they're entering from a different tunnel. I don't suppose it would make sense for me to do a heroic sacrifice right now? No, love, she's got it. Our way might still be open. Let's avoid as much fighting as we can. Escape is the only option. Okay, so we gotta run. We gotta run over there. Escape alive. Huh? <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. I will escape dead. Hmm. Let's silk step so that Renthai will be hidden. And there's a fucker revealed. Okay. We are going behind cover. Oksha can still move. And Oksha is gonna move here. And Vaifu is gonna move over here. And there's two rows. Yep, we're gonna survive. And we're gonna try and kill some fuckers. Okay, Oksha can still hit it from over here. 87%. I just one shot that thing. Okay, that's good. But I'm, I'm guessing if I kill more of those fuckers, I'll get some more experience. And I quite like experience points. Give me those experience points. What does this thing do? I can... Blind an opponent. Yeah, let's interfuse. Let's interfuse. With this thing. And blind it. And uh, Vaifu... Can only move here. And another geist is coming. Who? Huh? Uh, 
Oh, I think the Sea Spear does critical damage against Gorgons. I think that's the point. I really want to get these experience points. Those... Those enemies don't seem too much trouble right now. Silk Step. Whoosh. I really don't mind. And they're all coming from this tunnel, so I can... Kind of cut... Ah, but the tunnel splits. I thought I could cut them off. But I can't... They're all coming from there, so I can cut them off here. That's where they spawn. But that's a risky move for some experience points. Doesn't matter. Go hard. Go hard or go home. There we go. Can Oksha reach? No, Oksha cannot reach. Okay, so I'll have Oksha go over here too. Renthai can shoot the fucker. And I'll have Jean-Mer move over here, interfuse with this rock, and have it throw a discus at this thing. So there's only this one geist left on the map right now, and there's a true Gorgon coming, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, now this is starting- oh! Okay, now this is starting to hurt. Anyway, Oksha, strike it. Strike it down, there we go. Renthai, can you shoot it? Yep. We're still going this way. Interfuse with this furnace and blind the thing. And Vaifu will go here and do a guardian. No, I need to leave. The game outright told me that escape is the only option. be a big dum-dum. Oh, I can do another flare to blind this Gorgon. Here we go. So Waifu can move over here and just strike. Ah, uh, Oksha is too far away. She can protect Waifu over here. And two rows are spawning. Oh god. I'm glad this thing is blinded, but we're in trouble. And that missed. I could move the Gorgon out of the way now, but I can just move here with Pixel and kill it. There we go. And you, you're just gonna sentinel. And jean -Mai, I'm moving you here out of harm's way. I'm gonna escape now. This is... Yeah, this is too much trouble. I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Rantha is fast, but I need her to cover my retreat. I'm withdrawing from this thing and I'll interfuse with uh, these rocks and 
Waifu, you're also just gonna go here and guard. There we go. Okay, Jaume, you gonna go here and throw a discus. Red thigh, move here. Shoot. Oh god, Oksha is almost dead. Oksha? Just, just leave. No, uh, just, just run. Oh god, no, she's pinned. Oh god, no, I can't move. Oh fuck, oh, 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 oh god, no, oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no. Yep, she can't move for one turn. Okay. Okay, compulsion. I'll move the... Uh, I can only make it move one tile. That's bad. So, no... I'll move this thing up here. Just just move it far away. And then I'll interfuse with this stone fox. And then I'll throw another discus at this thing. And, uh, yeah. Oksha, can you... Can you sentinel, please? Right now... I want to get her, I want to get Jaume out of here too. Okay, that thing is dead, there we go. Oh crap, oh god, oh no. Oh shit, pinning toxin. Ah oh, no, Oksha is pinned. I need to get rid of, uh, rid of the Gorgon, otherwise I'm not getting out of here alive. Okay, Waifu? You know what to do. Hit the fucker. There we go. Uh, Jaume can finally move, so Jaume is going to move and interfuse with uh, these rocks. And throw a discus at this thing, hopefully killing it. There we go, it's gone. And Oksha cannot do anything, so Oksha is just going to Guardian. And... Oh god. Okay. So now, I've decided that we're all just going to run. Okay, Jaume is safe. Waifu? Oh god, Waifu is not safe. I really hope uh, this Geist is not fast enough to get us. Oh god. Okay, save Waifu. Waifu is almost dead. Oh! Saved everyone! Oh, and I'm not getting extra experience points. Oh, crap. Yeah, let's increase Oksha's accuracy. Oh. We left that canyon and cave behind. Yeah, barely. The enemy's treasure in our hands. We should be joyful, but we're almost dead.
but we know a clash is coming. My books claim wars are won piece by piece, track by track. Winning one hill doesn't decide anything. We can only hope this small victory buys us time. <laughs> Evil eyes. Oh! That's chapter two. Okay, folks, I'm gonna take a break here because I've been streaming for one and a half hours again. Maybe I'll stream again later in the day. And yeah, uh, thank you folks for watching. Uh, thank you, Noir Chatru on YouTube, and thank you, one anonymous viewer on uh, Twitch who did not post anything in chat. But uh, thank you, that's fine. And I'm just gonna save right here. Actually, let's check. Thank you for thanking me for the streaming. Actually, should we check out what happens in those 11 years of peace? Or should we not? Mm. Yeah, let's check out what happens during 11 years of peace with the flaming fishies. Okay, Ow. ah, your victory has undermined the enemy's plans, so... Okay, the enemy deck is gonna lose one card. Okay, that's cool. During the years of peace. Renthai and Jean May took their vows at evening tide, last day of a prosperous year. It was the rare time Renthai's emotions got the best of her, spoke her troths through tears. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, they're marrying. How oh, cool. In town, their feast had finished, but they returned for songs and stories before sleep. A long-looked-for wedding would be a happy memory for the rest of their lives. Oh, cute, they're married now. That's cool. Also, all the characters are older. Look. Each day, Grifla swept the path and trimmed back the weeds for 20 trim it. Pixel couldn't help but ask, why the diligence? We draw a line somewhere. Chaos creeps up and we keep it at bay. We're people, it's what we're born to do. Pixel spent a month tracking a golden stag. As she finally raised her weapon for the kill, the stag looked her straight in the eyes and laughed. Pixel went home with a prize greater than any set of antlers. Now that the job wasn't quite as dangerous, Renthai became a guide to travelers crossing the more treacherous stretches of swamp and mountain. Oksha went back to the place she grew up and was tempted by old acquaintances to remain there. But in the end, the past proved an unwise place to linger. Oksha Laura's daughter has reached adventuring age. Bly Laura has joined the Minnows of the Flame as a mystic. Oh cool, she has a daughter. Didn't even know she uh, was in a relationship with anybody or, well, you don't need to be in a relationship with somebody to have a child. But there was this thing about the butcher's son. Okay, so, so Oksha has a daughter. Fuck yeah. Bly Laurel is now a greenhorn mystic. Yeah, in, uh, in this game, uh, oh, oh, there's a new uh, person watching just about as I was about to end the stream. Oh, sad. So should I keep going then? And yeah, this uh, this game tracks uh, uh, like your, your characters uh, somehow. Does she have a story? A history? Steeped in rare and wondrous tomes from across the world, Bly's family's treasures helped her grow up wise and well-read. She left Lone Grave as soon as she could, eager to unravel mysteries and romances both. Among the ruins of a raised homestead near Hog Market Mine, she discovered a young child's drawing of a smiling god. The more others questioned her motives, the less clear they are forgot. I, I feel you. Anyway, indignance? But I'd like her to make a... I'd like her to... to uh, 
Make her an earth mage. She's an earth mage now. Okay, I can transform Jean May into a crow. I can give her a crow leg now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's give her a crow leg too. And I can craft some shit. Renthai still has a tier 1 bow. I cannot craft a better bow though. You can trade one legacy point. Oh god, that wouldn't. Nah. Nah. I'm gonna give Jean May a better wand. Or should I just have her keep the soup spoon? I mean, I'm just using her magic so she can keep the spoon, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna make her into a burb. And I'm gonna give her a heather drab so she can have some more armor. Let's go. I could give Griffla Thorn Bark, which would reduce her speed and dodging. Sc no. Why would I want that? What can I give to Waifu? Can I make Waifu some better armor? Nightmare. She'll be slower, but she'll get plus five armor. But it doesn't look good on her. I would like to to give her the, she's she's more the, the 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 fasty type who jumps into battle i'm i'm gonna trade legacy points for these hides and give her an armor that allows her to dodge more and to just jump into battle let's go and for auksha i could craft her the nightmail She's like a paladin of sorts, but I really, really dislike me losing points for that. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna do it. It's basically the only thing left that I can effectively upgrade, though. It looks... it looks bad. I don't want her looking bad. But I also want her to survive, so... Let's craft that. I don't know. We'll keep that. Okay. And I guess this is where the story continues, so... I'm, I can't save right now. Okay. Some storms better compromise into combative neighbors. Grudges are no shelter in bitter weather. The rains had been falling for a full week with brief interludes of tense massing clouds and dripping branches. Mountain snows melted and water roared from the heights. The seas whirled and rung at the shores flung waves ever further. Rivers conquered their banks and marched wider. Valleys turned to huge brackish lakes. Lowland woods and dams of dry times were swept away as creatures of all shapes and kinds sought escape from churning floods. You think our Ulstrix poisoned the weather? After all this time? Why? How? With what? There's no rational explanation for this confluence of catastrophes. Look, our, our characters are getting older, that's awesome. Rain and stuff. 
Nothing's ever made sense about this, but oh, someone's at the door. The strange part of visitors' bags of fire. They appear to be on edge here in a common dwelling, and also very sorry. Arnon, you say we're natural allies. Care to explain? The haggard man behind the horns, calling himself Arnon, takes a long breath and turns to address Renthai and the rest. Ask my wife. Huh? Ask my wife. She sent me. Can you believe that? At my advanced age. I grew up here in Blessed Swine, you know? It looks different. His two underlings shift and resettle their garments as they dry out. Must be about the flooding. Huh? You know why the... No, everyone knows it's those tentaclasts, the Gorgons, they bring ruin on us all. Which Gorgons? Um, they're blue. That checks out. But, I mean, who's there? The Gorgons are flooding the world. They've set it in motion and it can't be stopped. Almost. How? None of this should be possible. I mean, the rain, the melt, the sea... You're right, it shouldn't be. The Great Balance should be unassailable. But somehow they've thrown it over. So the torrents fall, the seas thrash, the soil seeps black down our warrens. It is Ulstrix, I knew it would be. Ostrich? No, it's the Gorgons, I'm saying. The beasts have our warren hemmed in. My wife's inside, dry and warm. You need to talk to her. Hemmed in, but you've slipped by them? It's why it had to be me. I'm a master at looping the light. I tend to be missed. And you have some kind of good faith offering, or... Um, I've got some mush bread. You don't want my duties. He uh, certainly gives us an option. A strange one, but this weather, these floods, what else can we go on? If you want to watch the world sink beneath a rising sea, watch all land things perish, then you're exactly where you need to be. But if you see sense... Arnon thuds a lump of soaked fabric on the table. <laughs> Here's a... Oh, it's wet. I mean, it's a map. Sorry, it'll dry all crinkly. Follow the map. Come to our warren. There. Learn for yourselves how you can deflect this drowning doom and these lands all safe. All monster groups will draw an extra monster card in every battle. The shadows is deepen. Oh god, it's gonna get hard now. Finally. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna save this and quit for now because... Uh, I need to take a break, but uh, thank you people for watching, and uh, maybe I'll stream later in the day or in the evening today again, because I really like this game, and it's really fun, and I uh, wonder where the story goes, and yeah, our, our heroes are in their late 40s and early 50s now, except for Griffler, who is still 32, and Bly, who is just turned 23 as the daughter of Aksha. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take a break for now and quit. Thank you for watching, watchings, uh, watchings, uh, bye bye, hagos, hearts, and big love. And thank you for following the adventures of uh, the minnows of the flame, or as I call them, uh, lesbian flame fishy army. Because it's all just girls. I don't know, it happens. But only two of them are canonically lesbian. But we'll see how all that leads anyway thank you for watching and see you people around thanks bye bye Mwah. <sighs> Gosh,